the cheapest coins on the web, go and check out igsky.com. Their link will be down in the description and use code CAPGUN for a discount at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to episode number 39 of Building Buy. And now we're going to kick this episode off by going into our trade pile. We have managed to sell everything from the last episode and we have 107,000 coins. Considering we signed Alaba in the last episode, I am very, very happy about that. We can actually already afford to buy another player for the team. Obviously, I'm going to hold off for a little while. We've only just made a signing and I want to make sure that we work our way up a little bit, have a few more coins so that when we buy the next player... We obviously can continue trading with the maximum amount of coins that we can and, you know, it will actually help us proceed with the series quicker than if we sort of like just made all the signings we can as soon as we could. Anyway, here we go. We're going into our first game. It's online division matches. Brand new division. Division 4 again. Unfortunately, we got robbed once again at the end of the division. Someone left against us and uh, gave us no chance of actually winning the, uh, you know, promotion spot that we deserved. So, there you go. We have to just not cry over the spilt milk and go into Division 4, see if we can win. Our first opponent is using a decent-looking hybrid, La Liga meets Serie A. And you can see he has got um, the likes of Hernandez and Veya in there. Very dangerous players and uh, actually managed to score and cause me a lot of problems, this guy, early on. Perlo there, free at the back post, and uh, he gets himself a goal. Then somehow he pushes his way through all of my defence. There's a man on the wing who is free, and he passes out to him. He does manage to finish it. However, we did come back into this game. You can see here that we got a bit unlucky because the keeper took out Shakiri, but nothing was given. But Muller slides in, and he manages to get the goal to make it 2-1. Now, we had a good chance here, and uh, we did actually finish it to make it 2-2 in the 90th. I was like, good, we got a draw, no loss. That's an all right start to the division. And then I did a top. Look at this. This is just absolutely shocking. What on earth am I doing there? There was no need for me to do try and pass it out. Maybe I should have just cleared it. And, uh, you know, I would have ended up having a draw instead of a loss on my account. Which is, you know, just things that I need to stop doing. It's just mistakes I'm making. And, uh, yeah, it's just very difficult for me to play FIFA at the moment. As you saw, the stats were pretty much in his favour. But it's always frustrating to concede in the last second of a game. Now, you can see here that we're going into a fitness match. The lovely, godly fitness match. And we're going up against Inter Milan. So, we've got a difficult opponent. And we do manage to win 2-1, which is good. More coins into our pocket. And uh, also, more points on the board. We've won all of our games so far in this division. We will need to make sure that we win pretty much every single game. Because we need 26 points out of a possible 30. So, we can afford to lose one game just literally lose one game and uh, we'll still be able to take down the title we're really looking for the title and the coin bonus that goes with it now we're diving back into online seasons we come up against a very dangerous looking BPL 41212 team with Di Maria he's got Falcao he's got Sturridge all players I hate playing against and you can see here that we do get uh, quite lucky against him because there was no goals until the very last second and this time it's us that manages the score the 90th minute winner and uh, yes thank you Tiago for being in the right place at the right time I would have been fuming if I hadn't won to be honest is because as whereas in the last game he was all over me this game I was all over him now I came up against this and I was like yes we've got a really easy squad to come up against I didn't read the team name I'm reading it now it says relegation team I should have known what was going to happen he literally just got into the game and quit I wish people if they were going to do relegation they would go and score an own goal before quitting out. That means I would get a win. I wouldn't have to pay for extra contracts and stuff. It's just very selfish on their part. Time wasting as well. Um, just getting themselves relegated so they can go back down to Division 10. You know, I'm, it's just not fair to make people, um, well, basically waste time. And, you know, it's just not fun at all. Anyway, um, I decided to dive straight into another game. You know, why not? And uh, we go and get a goal with Thiago. Good start from us. But unfortunately, our goalkeeper is absolutely shocking. I know that's hit very powerfully from Quadrado. But really, he should be saving it because it's right at him. And he didn't. So we went 1-1. And then, you know, seconds later, he actually threw a ball um, from the wing over the top. And uh, there was... Pogba at the back post to score it. I went ultra attacking in the final minutes, you know, to try and give myself a chance of winning. He just counter-attacked me over and over again, got an extra two goals. I did get um, a sort of like a consolation goal in the final minute because he brought Muller down in the box. Muller did tuck away the penalty, but of course it is too little, too late, and unfortunately we get a 4-2 loss. So not the best start to the division, 1-0 and 2. Hopefully we'll be able to make up for it in our final game. Now you can see that we are going to go and uh, do a bit of trading. There's only two players that I've bought this time. A Miga for 16k that we're going to list up for 17,750. And the reason we only picked up two players is because one of them is very expensive and it is the Silver Inform Chambers from Arsenal. I bought it for 80,000. I'm going to be listing for 90 
20,000. Hopefully, it will sell and we will make a ton of profit. Anyway, here we go. We're diving into our final game of the episode. And I was like, okay, this guy's got, you know, an all right team. Not amazing. Um, I thought, you know what? He hasn't got full chemistry on Walcott. You know, Defoe's not that strong. He's got Donovan. He's not great. You know, his defense is all right. But everywhere else, I thought, you know, I outclassed him. Um, and you can see that, unfortunately, my confidence was misplaced because I ended up conceding at the corner. I did make some changes to a 4-3-3 and unfortunately I didn't even get the chance to try them out before he'd managed to suck away the second. You can see they're just really bad defending from Rafinha, not getting onto that ball after it goes loose from the goalkeeper's parry. Now the 4-3-3 did eventually come into effect and you can see there I managed to score with Shakiri. No idea how Schweinsteiger missed that goal. He really should have put that one away but thankfully we did put the ball through to Rafinha and Rafinha managed to put it into the back of the net, which was really cool. And I was like, yes, we can win this game. But he quit. And I was like, oh, not this again. How can this keep happening? People just getting a draw and then quitting out. They get a loss and I get nothing. I have to pay contracts. I have to pay fitness. I have to do everything. They've just wasted my time and I don't get a result on the board. I might have even have taken a point in that game. He could have just waited until the end. But it's just so frustrating. So many time wasters on FIFA today. I don't know what to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. Make sure you smash the like button if you have. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there and I will see you all next time.